there, Alison here with another Caprant du Jour. Today we are in Saumur and we are looking at the Domaine Guiberto 2018 Saumur Rouge. Now, among wine professionals, Domaine Guiberto does not need much of an introduction, so I will do my best to keep it brief. Romain Guiberto is the current proprietor and it was his great grandfather that established the Domaine in the early 1900s. Now, when Romain uh, left law school and came back to the Domaine in 1996, he staged under Nadi Foucault of Clos Rougeard. And that mentorship really has cemented the direction of the Domaine going forward as far as uh, viticulture and winemaking is concerned. They have nine hectares in total, uh, uh, mixed plantings between Chenin Blanc and Cabernet Franc, uh, predominantly in the southern part of Saumur. And Saumur, I should say, is a uh, appellation that is for white wines, red wines, <clears throat> and rosé. Uh, and their vineyards are located predominantly in the commune of Brézé. And Brézé has been long regarded as sort of a Grand Cru sort of area, if you will, for uh, winemaking in the Loire Valley. All of the vineyards are farmed organically. And for this wine that we're looking at today, this is their Domaine wine, or almost their entry level wine, if you will. And this is coming from a, like a two hectare parcel of vines across three different, uh, three different communes, uh, Brézé, Bizé, and montreuil belly But the majority of the fruit is coming from Brézé and Bizé. And these two areas are sort of side by side in the southern part of Saumur. And they have a uh, very, very shallow, uh, sandy, silty topsoil to the vineyards, as well as uh, that limestone bedrock. And that proximity to the, to the limestone bedrock is really critical for how these wines express themselves. Um, the vines for this particular wine were planted between 1955 and 1957, so we're talking relatively old vines. Um, so let's give this a taste and see what we got. I will say that, um, and I certainly recommend this if you have a bottle of this at home, to, to open it up uh, at least an hour and a half in, in advance. Uh, this has been open now for about an hour and a half um, and decant it for sure. It will help it to kind of open up a little bit. Mm, the nose is, is really perfumed and, and lively now. Um, I'm getting a lot of sort of sweet red fruits like cherry, raspberry. There's even a little bit of black currant in there. Um, the herbaceousness comes through in a beautiful way. It's herbal, uh, almost sort of dried herbs. There's a little bit of fresh sage, fresh, uh, fresh uh, savory, if you will. There's even like a, a little bit of like a violet kind of undertone in there, but very perfumed, very lifted. The palate is extremely lively, vivacious, very energetic. It has almost a crunchy acidity uh, to a certain extent. The tannins are very fine, uh, almost satiny in the mouth with a, sort of a beautiful chalky minerality on the finish. But I think what this wine is really about and how it communicates the terroir of the sites is that this has this beautiful sort of ethereal, lacy, refined character, character to it. Um, it's focused, it's precise, uh, and there's a lot of nuance here. The The wine shows itself in a very kind of almost Pinot-like way in terms of that finesse and grace and levity. Um, it's just such a beautiful example of Cab Franc. I absolutely love this wine. Um, have you had many of the wines from Domaine Guiberto? Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments below or any other favorite producers from Saumur. Uh, and of course, as always, I will be back again soon with another wine. Cheers.